Michelle here. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have six Dollar Tree DIYs for you today. I have a very exciting video for you. Six coastal DIYs using Dollar Tree's new shore living items. I had so much fun putting all of these together. I hope you enjoy the tutorials. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make each one. So we're going to make a nautical decorative serving tray. You're going to need one of these plastic serving trays that you can get over in the catering section. Uh, this time of year, they do have them in several different colors. So you can get whatever color you can find or a plain one. You're also going to need several packages of the nautical rope. I picked up the 11.1 foot nautical rope and this is their white. I really like this. It's nice and soft. When you open up the package, the ends have been taped and they've been uh, done that way so that the rope does not unravel. What you'll want to do is go ahead and remove that tape because you don't want to see that on our project it immediately starts to come unraveled. So go ahead, just twist that back up, grab it. And then right here in the end, you wanna put just a little bit of hot glue. And then twist those ends. Just be careful not to burn yourself. You need to pull all those guys back together. So just kinda of Twist it and pull it together. If you need to add a little bit more glue to get it to stay, go ahead. Just be careful. Now to attach our rope, we want to start right here in the center and I really like this plastic tray because it makes finding the center very easy. So take one of the ends that you've secured and because I'm going to be doing a lot of hot gluing with this project, I'm using my large professional Sure Bonder glue gun. I really do like their products. So put a nice dollop of hot glue there in the center. And then get the end of your rope in there. Just kind of hold that down. And then you might need to twist a little bit to get it to look right. And then you're going to just slowly start to wrap that rope around the center. So you want to make sure you get your center looking nice. Make sure all those little ends are tucked down. And then just add hot glue as you slowly wrap all the way around. So you want to make sure that it stays nice and flat as you add your rope. This is very simple and easy to do. You just need to have a little bit of patience.
actually am going to keep going until I get the base of my tray covered. I have one package of the rope on and I've twisted down my end nicely and have it glued down. Now you're going to do the same thing to the next piece. You just want to make sure you've secured your ends and then you want to just butt it up to the next one and then continue to glue down. And like I said, if you need to grab and twist it a little bit to have it lay right, then do that. You want that to look as seamless as possible. And then go ahead and continue to rest. I have my platter all covered in my nautical rope. Now I did all the way out to the edge and then I went around right on the edge and then one more down below. So it kind of wraps around the side. I like that. That way when it's sitting down, that's all you see is rope and you're not going to see any of the plastic platter. So I'm really happy with that. It took a total of four packages of the 11.1 .1 foot nautical rope to cover the base so you'll need a total of five packages or four and then some of another one if you have one left over you'll need to cut two pieces of the nautical rope at nine inches these are going to be our handles and then you just need to decide where you want to place your your handles Okay, so I'm going to place, I ended one of my ropes right here, and I don't really want to see that, so I'm going to um, place one of my handles here on this side to cover that up. Put a good amount of uh, hot glue there and place the end. Okay. Then decide how much of the rope you want out. About there, and then I'm going to glue the other end down. So I have my handle on. Now, of course, I don't want to see this part, so we're going to cover that up. I picked up this bag of shells from Dollar Tree. Now they have two different types of shells. They have this one that they uh, just recently got in. This has lots of different colored shells in it. And then they usually carry this one that just has the white shells in it. And you can, whatever you can find will work. You're just looking for something where the shells aren't too large. So I decided to go with the ones that have color on them. And I went through and pulled out ones that were approximately the same size and some of mine have color and some of mine don't so i think i kind of like the ones with color so i think i'm going to go with those so you just need to search through your shelves until you find some that are the right size and the right color tones for what you're looking for and this package very sandy so i did go and take them and scrub them and get the sand off so then what we're going to do with these is you're going to go ahead and glue this over so that it adds a little bit more nautical feel and then it covers up that part so i'm just going to hot glue those over but i am going to use a good amount of hot glue so i want to make sure that this stays where i put it just kind of fill that shell up. Be careful, don't burn yourself. And then go ahead and place it over. You want to give that a good amount of time for that glue to set up because you did put quite a bit on there. If you enjoy hauls, crafts, and learning new craft techniques, please consider subscribing to my channel. 
I do upload new content every week. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube should let you know every time I upload new content. And there you go, I have both of my handles on. I'm really pleased with the final outcome. I think this really makes it very nautical feeling. I had a lot of fun putting this together and I'm excited about displaying it in my bathroom. I have a quick little uh, nautical decor piece for you. I picked up this nice large candle holder from Dollar General. I've added a little bit of the sand that you can get from Dollar Tree. And this is one of Dollar Tree's larger candles. You just go ahead and place that in the center. And a shake out. And then I've also pulled out a bunch of really pretty small shells. Now Dollar Tree sells several different types of small shells. They come in little bottles like this. So they have this kind. They also have this one that has all kinds of like little snail guys in it. And they also have ones that have just the regular small shells. So I have some of these, some that I pulled out from others, some that I've collected on the seashore. So you're just looking for small ones so that they can fit in here around the candle. And then just go in and start dropping in your shells. Just kind of mix up the colors in the placement. I even found some really cute little mini sand dollars my last trip to Stinson Beach. Now if they don't fall in right, just use a dowel rod to flip them over and get them where you need them. And look at how pretty it looks once you get all of your shells in there. This is perfect for your table, side table, coffee table. Absolutely gorgeous and very easy to put together. For our next project, you're going to need one of these little night lights that you can find at Dollar Tree. I believe they're over in the hardware section. Now this is clear on the top so you can put whatever design you want on these. And then in their shore living section, I found these glass stickers. Now these are larger than your little night light here, but that's okay because you can go in and cut out whatever section that you want. So you could do one or both of the seahorses or the coral. On this one, you could do the little seahorse here that says C, cut the rest out. On this one, you can always use the little mermaid. So keep that in mind when you're looking. Also in the crafter square section, I found this one and I thought that was really pretty. It's just very simple C forms and they're done in kind of a teal and gray dot. So any of these will work for today's project. I'm going to be using this one. I've opened up my nightlight and I have cut my figures. I have my piece of coral here and what I'm planning on doing is I want to put the coral kind of in the background and then I'm going to put this seahorse on this side a little bit up at the top and then this seahorse over on this side. Now I'm not going to get the whole seahorse on which is fine. I'll just trim off whatever doesn't fit. And then it's that simple once you get them cut out and you've got them shaped the way that you like them then you just need to place because they are like a sticker and here on my seahorses the background in between was kind of foggy and I didn't want that so that's why I'm cutting them out
Now you can do this with any kind of decor that you have. This is great. You can customize this. Maybe you have a child that is really into um, some form of character and you can't find things to decorate their room. You can make them a cute little nightlight. You just need to make sure that everything is nice and secure. And then you have your custom little nightlight. Quick and easy. For this project, you're going to need one of these MDF words that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. This came out of their shore living. It's just called decor. Now they have a couple different words. I believe they have relax, beach, and one other one that I can't think of right now. Uh, they also have a couple different finishes to choose from. Now this one had the whitewash finish on it, but it only had it on the front. And this is a pretty thick piece. So what I did was I went ahead and took some uh, white paint, mixed it with some water, and I went over all of the edges. Now you see I didn't want to get it fully covered because I want this to look beachy and kind of weathered. And then I did get some here on the front, so to blend that in, I just quickly did a light dry brush over the front. But this one already came with the whitewash on the front. Uh, but you can pick any one that you want. You do want to start with a white base like this, and you do want it to dry. I did this two days ago because I wanted to make sure this is thoroughly dry. I'm going to be using tape to add some stripes of different colors to this. And if I didn't let my base coat fully dry, the tape can pull up your paint. So for my striping, I have some folk art this dark blue, which is called a cobalt hue. Uh, this one is apple barrel. This is pool blue. And I also pulled this one out, which is sky blue. And I might be mixing some of them with the white. We'll see how strong the colors are and how well they blend. I also have some painter's tape here to help me uh, tape off the areas. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of tape right across the very bottom here. And I want it almost the width of the tape, just a little less. Make sure you get that down. Okay, so it's just covering the very bottom. Add a couple more stripes. Okay, I have my tape laid down. I'm just going to get my paint laid out and I do have a pouncing brush. I like to use these when I'm working with anything that I'm trying to tape off or stencils. Um, it, they tend to work better than your standard brush. I have some of my paint laid out so I'm going to start filling in my little stripes here. And I want to start with my darkest color. I'm going to go from darker to lighter. And I'm just going to go through and start to add some darker color. Now I want to get kind of an ombre effect as I'm working with this. So you need to work through quickly. You don't need to use a lot of paint. But across the bottom here, I want it to be a little bit more solid of this nice, really dark blue. right along where the tape is down here at the bottom. I'm making sure that that's pretty much solid. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the next color, which is a little lighter, and I'm going to pounce some of that in up near the other end. And just kind of go over where the two meet and blend them together. Mm -hmm. 
paint that looks really pretty. And now I'm going to stick with that same color and I'm going to do the same thing on the next stripe. So now down near the bottom here, I'm going to make sure that the color is pretty thick. And I'm going to go into the next color, which is the sky blue. I really love how the pouncing brush makes it so easy to blend those colors. And it gives you that really beautiful ombre effect. So just keep playing with it. Mix your colors until you're happy with the result that you see. I am happy with that. I think that looks very pretty. I can go ahead and start to remove my tape. Just be nice and careful as you remove your tape. I think that looks so pretty so far. I love the striped effect. Now you're going to need to let this fully dry before we move on to our next step. My paint is all nice and dry. And I have a sanding block here. So I'm just going to go over and sand just a little bit. I want to rough it up just a little bit, not a lot, just to give it that kind of weathered look again. See that gave it just a little bit of distressing and a little bit more weathered look, which is exactly what I want. Now you're going to need a package of sand. You can pick this up from Dollar Tree, but if you have any sand on hand, that will work. You're also going to need some Mod Podge, and I'm using the matte. And then I have a foam brush. So what I want to do is I'm going to dip the bottom of my sign here in the sand, or actually I'm going to sprinkle it on, and I'm going to do just this bottom stripe. So I placed my Mod Podge on there, and now I'm going to sprinkle my sand. You want to get a good coating and then just let it sit. Give it a slight pat to make sure that it gets good adhesion. Don't want to press too hard, just make sure that it nestles into that Mod Podge. You want to let that set up and then if you need to go back you can always add a little bit more Mod Podge on the top and sprinkle some more sand if you didn't get full coverage. So I've shaken off all my excess sand. I've let it sit for about 10 minutes and now I'm going over the sand with the Mod Podge again. This will just help secure that sand so as it sits out and I handle it, it's not going to keep falling off and shedding. 
And all I'm doing is getting some onto the brush and then I'm just lightly patting it on. The one good thing about Mod Podge, it is white when you take it out, but as it dries, it goes clear. So this way you can really see that you have it on and that you have enough on. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and we will add the final embellishment. So my beach sign has been sitting for about 20 minutes and the top coat here of the Mod Podge is still a little moist but it's set up pretty well so far. So I want to add a few more embellishments. So I pulled out some really pretty shells here and I'm going to be gluing some of these right down here where the beach sand is. You can use whatever shells that you have. Dollar Tree sells several different types of shells, several different sizes, so you can find whatever works for you. I believe all of these, with the exception of this one, came from Dollar Tree. Now these real small ones come in a little container like this, and they have each container is filled with like three or four different types of shells. Um, like this one has all the little small um, snail shells. I've also seen ones that have the little conch shells and then the little like zebra, I guess, or giraffe type conch shells. And then uh, they also have one that has just the little small clam shells. So those are all the perfect size. So just decide where you would like to place your shells and get them glued down. I got all my uh, shells glued on. I think it looks absolutely adorable. I'm very happy with this result. Now I had one idea, but I keep going back and forth whether or not I want to add it. And over in the children's section where the toys are, they have these new toys. They are outdoor furniture. They have several different sets. And one of the things that they have is this really cute red and white umbrella. I think this is really adorable. And I was originally planning on placing this kind of here on the sign. But I don't know, I keep going back and forth. Let me know in the comments below, would you add the umbrella or would you leave it off? What do you think? Right now I'm going to leave it off. I may change my mind later and add it. But I think that would look really cute too. And I even like the red and white with the blue. That is very much uh, coastal decor. Now this next project is perfect for a tear tray or sitting out on a side table or something like that. Dollar Tree has two different types of little bottles that you can pick up over in their shore living. This one says wish upon a starfish and has a little picture of a starfish on it. And the other one says sand from your favorite beach. Now you can use either of those. Uh, today I'm going to be using this one. You want to go ahead and just add in a little bit of sand there at the bottom. And then to that I'm going to add, I have this little scroll that I made and all I did was take a piece of um, resume paper that I had. I tore out a section so all the ends were torn and then I scrunched it up, flattened it out, scrunched it up, flattened it out, and then rolled it up and tied it. So that's kind of my little message in a bottle. And then I'm also going to add a couple small seashells. Just going to shake them around until you get them the way that you like them in there. Hopefully they land, there we go. They land the right way. And then I have this really cute little piece of driftwood. And I picked that up in a package like this, and I got this for a dollar from Dollar General. 
So you might want to uh, check Dollar General and see if you can find some driftwood. And I found a nice little piece. I'm hoping, yes, I can get it in there. You just kind of shake it around until you get it to lay the way that you want. If you need to move anything, you can use a dowel rod to get down in there. A little shell here flipped over. There we go. I want to see the pretty side. So then you can just kind of move around it and adjust your items. And then put the little top back on. But I think that looks really adorable. I really like this little jute cord bow up at the top here. But I think that needs just a little something something. You can also find these little clips. They're called nautical pins. They come on the little clothes pins. And I really like the little uh, starfish here. It actually matches that little starfish on the front. So I popped one of those off. You need to be careful. They do break really easy trying to get them off. So just be cautious. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach that right to the top there and just use a very small amount of hot glue. And attach that tip right to the center of the jute bow. Mm -hmm. Now doesn't that look adorable? A perfect addition for a tiered tray or a side table. We're going to work on doing a centerpiece now. In the Shore Living, they have really cute little wood cutout icons. These are about an inch and a half. I chose to use the little uh, turtles. They also have a conch shell, a dolphin, and something else. Uh, I decided to go with these. Now you will need four, whichever ones you choose. And then I just sponge painted them a mixture of two blues, just like I did on my beach sign. So I used the Cobalt Hue by Folk Art, and I used Full Blue by Apple Barrel. And I just sponge painted the two colors together on my sponge, and then just went over until I covered it. You want to do that to four and let them dry. You're also going to need uh, either two real candles or two of the uh, artificial candles, which is what I'm using. Both of these came from Dollar Tree. And this is the LED pillar candles. You get 120 hours. It's by Luminescence. And this one just happens to be the one that's a little bit taller, but the little bit shorter one that's a little fatter will work as well. Or you can use their real candles. And these are just slightly off-white, and I chose that because the sand that I found, I could only find the real white and not the um, kind of beige sand. Had I found the beige sand, I probably would have gone with really white candles. Now we're going to dress up our candles. I also have this jute cord. Now you can use just the regular jute cord. Uh, I found this one, which I thought was really pretty. It is white and jute cord rolled together. And I found this over in the shore living section. And what I want to do to kind of dress up these candles a little bit is I'm just going to wrap that jute cord around and glue it down just a couple times. Get your end secured just one little dab of hot glue. Okay, so I went around just about four times. You want just enough so that you can see that pattern. And I'm stopping in the same spot where I started. And again, just add another little dab. Just 
kind of pull all of those together to get a nice even stripe. And then you want to take a, a turtle and that area where you glued down your ends, you're going to glue one on that side and glue it to the rope. That way, if you ever want to change this out, it'll be easy to do that. You won't have a lot of glue on your candle. And because this is going to be a centerpiece, I'm going to do that on the opposite side so that no matter which side you're sitting on, that you will be able to see the cute little turtle. So you want to do that to both of your candles. I have both my candles done. I think they look really cute. Now I have this bamboo tray that I picked up for about $10 at Ikea. This is what I'm going to use as my base. I think this really screams uh, by the sea and farmhouse, really like that. And then I have two bags here of the sand and this is net weight. 0.77 pounds. Now this is the really white sand. I was looking for more of the beige colored sand, but I couldn't find any on this trip. So I had to settle for the white. Now this has a little bit of black speckles in it, which I think is kind of pretty. And we're going to add our pillar candles. And you want to make sure that on the long side that your little uh, turtles there are facing either side so that you can see them. And then also in the shore living section, they came out with these really cool silver dollars. Now these are quite heavy. You do get three in a pack. They also came out with these really cool starfish. You'll need one package of each. These were such a nice find this year. And then you can go ahead and just place these in wherever they look right to you. It's nice that you do get three. I got my starfish in. I tried to add the silver dollars. I changed my mind. They're a little too big. So I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to use the starfish. Now I also have some really pretty uh, seed glass that you can get from Dollar Tree. This is over in their vase filler section and it comes in really pretty colors. They have all different size pieces in there. So you just need to decide how big you want them. Pull out whatever colors and sizes that you want. Now this will help tie in with your little turtles there. You want to make sure that you do grab some of the blue pieces. And I don't want anything too large, so I'm going to try to spit, stick with the small to medium sized pieces of black. So they have the light blue, they have white, they have dark blue, and they have a green. So I will add just a few pieces of the green, but I'm going to stick mainly in the blues. I'm going to just go ahead and add in some of the seed glass. I think this is so pretty, especially against that really white sand. Just beautiful. Just try to get a little bit of color 
each of the colors in each of the three sections. Turn it around and look at different areas. Now I'm going to add some pretty shells. Dollar Tree carries several different packages of shells and most of these I did pick up from Dollar Tree. I really do like these little conch shells. They have several different colors in the package. So just pull out a few shells and go ahead and add those in. Nestle them in wherever they look right. Mix up the different colors and sizes. And there you go, we are all done. I think that came out absolutely gorgeous. All kinds of beautiful treasures. And the blue and the turtles really help to pick up the blue in the sea glass. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's six coastal DIYs. I had so much fun putting everything together. Please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.